Hello and welcome to this AutoCAD tutorial video for AutoCAD 2017. In this video we're going to be looking at the press pull tool uh, which is extremely helpful. So in previous videos we've looked uh, at the extrude tool uh, and this is sort of an extension of that but we're going to see uh, some of the added benefits of using the press pull tool. So let's have a look at this then. So uh, up here on the 3D modeling uh, ribbon we can see here within our modeling uh, pane here we've got press pull. So press pull. So how does this differ from the extrude tool? Well, in a couple of important ways. First of all, if I draw using uh, a line notice, not a polyline, if I create a random shape on here, like that, if I use the extrude tool on this now, what it's doing is it's looking for different things to extrude. So if I select all of that, and I try and extrude it, you can see I'm only extruding the lines, not the area that it contains. So obviously uh, that could be useful, but if that's not what we're aiming to do, uh, then it's no good. Now obviously there's ways around that, we can do different things to this, but if we wanted to just simply use the extrude tool to create that shape, we'd need to use a polyline, uh, looking something like this, and then we could indeed extrude uh, that object as a solid like that. So that's quite useful. However, with the press pull tool, the press pull tool is very good at uh, finding areas that are bounded by lines. And when you use that, you can see with this uh, triangle here that we created just using the line tool, we can go straight to uh, extruding. Uh, and we can do the same with the polyline as well, obviously. So that's really helpful. So that's quite good. Uh, that's one good application of the press pull tool. It's not quite as uh, uh, fussy about finding uh, enclosed areas as the extrude tool. The other thing that it's good for is that you can extrude holes as well, which is uh, extremely useful using the press pull tool. But let's have a look at this uh, shape that I've created, just a simple geometric shape uh, that I've created using the 2D uh, skills that I've been demonstrating in previous videos. So let's just have a look at this now and see how we can use the press pull tool to, uh, to modify this shape. So if I select the press pull tool, you can see uh, again here it's searching for areas that are bounded. So if I uh, was to try and use the extrude tool to extrude just this area, that's not going to work because uh, this is made up of individual lines uh, and fillets, whereas this shape is uh, one whole uh, square uh, with rounded edges. Uh, that can be extruded, but notice it's extruding the whole of that shape, everything that's inside there, it's ignoring the circular lines. So if I use the press pull tool, first of all, I can just extrude that out a bit. So let's bring that up by random number, 20 mil. And then let's uh, press pull this inner part. So this is what we were extruding a moment ago when the whole thing was going, but can you see it's taken note of this circular uh, shape inside there now, so that's quite useful. Let's bring that up to say 10 uh, And then we can just continue the press pull tool as you can see in the command line stays live uh, So we can continue just using this so if we go like so there's the press pull tool for that part uh, Let's bring that up. So that extrudes even higher. Let's go 25 mil for that and let's bring that up to 15 mil and and this part we'll bring up to, I don't know, so let's say 30 mil, and then we'll leave that like that. So that's one quite useful application of the press pull tool, as you can see there. Just going to change the rendering of this uh, so we can see it a little bit more clearly. Uh, change it there. So you can see we've extruded different parts to different heights and that using the extrude tool would have been extremely difficult. One of the other advantages uh, of the press pull tool is that you can reuse the same uh, shape that you've already used from the 2D uh, drawing. So the extrude tool, if I'd extruded any part of this, uh, that section that I extruded becomes kind of bound up uh, with the shape that comes out. Whereas with the press pull tool, I can, if I want to, say create a boss uh, on this side here. So let's change that to something like minus 10 and that sticks out the bottom there as you can see. So that's like that now. So the press pull tool is extremely useful. Uh, there's one more function that it does that is quite handy 
So we'll have a look at that now. Another really helpful function of the uh, press pull tool is using it to extrude holes. So if we create uh, a circle on uh, this face here, so I'm going to do it between two points, so I'm going to hold down uh, shift and right click mid between two points and select the two outer points there, the two uh, quadrants of that circle and then I'm going to uh, create a circle which is say uh, six mil radius uh, and you can see here that all of the 2D tools all still work really well uh, in 3D space so I'm just going to select this circle as my item to array and then select the center point of that circle as my center point and you can see there I've got six uh, circles I can change that to whatever I want, I can change that to ten if I want uh, and that will continue to work just fine close that array so having created uh, my array here I can now use the press pull tool if I select one of the circles that I've created I can create a peg going up or if I bring it down and click there you can see that I've created uh, a hole there so I could just carry on now doing the same for the other circles and create lots and lots of holes around the edge of this shape like so and there we've got our holes created going through the center of our uh, circular boss there so that's the press pull tool, some of the functions that it can do, obviously uh, the creative ways that you apply that uh, in your modelling uh, will come through experience, uh, but that's the basic tool. So I hope this video has been of some value to you, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Thank you very much. Goodbye.